hey good morning everyone welcome back to the online class as you know that today we are going to discuss about the grammar part okay and uh, last week we have seen about adjectives okay so today also we'll go through adjectives okay in which we are uh, we have in last week we have seen about adjective kinds okay so today we are here with uh, some more new topics uh, over adjectives so in this lesson we are going to do a recap of adjectives and its type and we will see noun as adjectives then we'll identify noun as adjectives in given sentences then verb as adjectives and then we'll see identify verb as adjective in a given sentence okay in this lesson we are going to do this first we'll see a recap of adjectives and adjectives type okay let's see that so as we have seen last week about the types of adjectives and their uh, some of the uses also some of the functions definitions we have seen we'll just take a recap of that so first one is qualitative what was the means uh, what was adjective of qualitative how uh, why, why we are using that we are using that qualitative adjective to describe the quality of nouns describe the quality of nouns second quantitative adjective what is this quantitative adjective quantitative adjective is used to specify the amount or number of nouns okay we are using it to specify the amount or number of nouns okay third one is possessive adjective why we are using that possessive adjective we are using that possessive adjective to show relationship or ownership of nouns we are using that possessive adjective uh, to show possession uh, means uh, relationship or ownership of nouns fourth one is interrogative adjective why we are using that interrogative adjective we are using that interrogative adjective to ask questions about noun to ask questions about nouns demonstrative adjective fifth one is demonstrative adjective demonstrative adjective we use that to point out a specific noun we are using demonstrative adjective to point out specific noun okay so now we'll move towards um, what we are going to see this was the recap of what we have seen uh, in last week we have seen these uh, uh, types of adjective with the definition and examples it was just a recap now we'll move towards the chapter the main topic of this uh, chapter what is adjective you know that we have already learned that adjectives are words that are used to describe a noun okay but a noun also functions as an adjective nouns also act as an adjective when it precedes a noun that it modifies means when a noun a noun is also acting functioning as adjective okay when when it comes before another noun when it comes just before another noun when there will be two noun the noun which precedes the second noun that it modifies and it act as a noun as adjective okay take a look on this sentence uh, you will get clear uh, by looking this sentences our english teacher was absent yesterday okay here two noun is there english and teacher but as you know that when a noun is precedes before another noun then the first noun act as a act as a adjective the noun english precedes the noun teacher and it is used as adjective i told you that when uh, there is two noun okay and when it modifies the second noun then the first noun act as a adjective okay 
we'll see some more examples and you'll get clear about it what i am about to what i'm trying to explain you that how noun act as a adjective okay so here nouns as adjective this uses is very common and the nouns used as adjective retain their original form okay when means uh, when it uh, it is very commonly used okay and the nouns used as adjective it means it uh, um, it does not leave its original form nouns uh, which is used as an ob ob uh, adjective it does not leave its original form examples he gave her a diamond ring on their anniversary he gave her a diamond ring how was the ring it was uh, what kind of the ring it was of diamond and one most important thing it always ask a question of kind of what kind of then when the question comes like what kind of it get very easy to identify nouns which has been used as adjective okay here diamond functions as an adjective for ring right which is a noun now look at the sentences below first one he gave her a ring with a rare diamond on their anniversary again don't get confused here uh, here uh, rare diamond how the diamond is the rare one okay i told you when two noun is there together uh, what you have to do how you can identify when it is used uh, when it is uh, it precedes when it comes before the second noun then uh, the first noun will be the uh, noun which act as a adjective okay in this sentence diamond is a noun you can see red color is there uh, red color uh, word is in every sentences that is a noun and the green color uh, dark green color you can see in the examples or in this word that are adjectives okay now we will move towards some more example okay here it is examples first one the crystal vase how the vase is crystal crystal is a noun vase is also a noun how you can identify whether which one is acting as a noun as adjective so it is clear uh, when because the crystal and vase both are noun but as crystal came just before the second noun vase so crystal act as a noun ad, uh, noun as a, an adjective okay the gold frame gold frame is also frame is also a noun gold is also a noun so how it can be clear that two noun is there then the second one will be the noun the first one will be the noun which act as an adjective so gold will be noun as adjective and frame is only a adjective uh, noun okay third the marble floor how the floor is marble what kind of floor is marble always gives a question like a kind of okay what kind of should should want strawberry ice cream how uh, what kind of ice cream he wants he wants strawberry ice cream okay so strawberry is a noun which act as an adjective and ice cream is just a noun shrin likes to have an apple pie okay you can also means understood that what is apple here apple is also a noun pie is also a noun what kind of pie he want or she want what kind of pie she want she want an apple pie the cat has blue eyes how the eyes the eyes are blue the eyes are blue apple juice is good for health what kind of juice is good for health then apple juice is good for health always ask a question of what kind of hey you can see in every sentence red and blue is there red is a noun which act as an adjective and the blue one is only a simple adjective okay sorry noun noun eighth one my cousin got a toy car for his birthday 
here also uh, noun is there and uh, a noun which act as an adjective is there both is there the toy is the noun which act as an adjective and the car is only a noun okay now next move towards the next topic okay let us revise the important concepts of noun as adjective okay now we'll revise what we have seen how noun act as an adjective so first one is a noun functions as an adjective when it precedes a noun that it modifies means when it uh, tells about when it qualifies the second noun when it tells more about the second noun which it proceeds when it comes before the second noun then we, uh, we always say that the noun which came uh, before the second noun is always a noun which act as a adjective okay noun second one noun as adjectives are always placed before the second noun in a sentence which they describe yes i told the same thing right when there is two noun then the first noun which is placed just before the second noun that is always a noun which act as an adjective and same uh, are always placed before the second noun in a sentence which they describe when uh, you have seen um, what you have seen um, the crystal vase crystal there is two um, noun right and always on um, there is two down then the first noun always comes just before the second one and so that crystal here act as an adjective for the noun vase okay we'll discuss this in the class also so better you have to uh, watch the video carefully okay so both these uh, uh, concepts got clear that noun functions as an adjective when it precedes a noun that it modifies a noun as adjective are always placed before the second noun in a sentence which they describe okay now see the next topic that is verbs as adjective yeah earlier what we have seen we have seen uh, nouns and adjective nouns as adjective and now we are seeing what we are seeing verb as adjective just like nouns verbs too can be used as adjective verbs too can be used as an adjective and uh, i could say that uh, there will be two verb we will see two kinds of verb uh, later tomorrow we'll see the present and past participles of verbs are very commonly used as adjective you you have to think this uh, present uh, present form present verb as an adjective and past participle which act as an adjective okay these two are there which is uh, verb form second and verb form third is always uh, commonly act as an adjective okay you just have to remember this when uh, we are giving you the uh, how to make, means to make the verb forms in that uh, the uh, verb form second verb form and the third verb form is always act as an adjective okay so remember that okay example last night granny told us a frightening story last night granny told us a frightening story how was the story how was the story what kind of story was that it was a frightening story means here also what question came what kind of story what kind of story that was that was frightening story present participle and past participle this both is like they always act as an adjective present participle and past participle okay second one let sleeping dogs lie what kind of dogs lie how uh, we can leave them to lie whom then we can uh, let them lie the sleeping dogs whom the sleeping dogs third get rid of all your torn clothes get rid of all your torn clothes what kind of clothes we uh, want to just uh, uh, overcome with that the 
torn clothes how which type of clothes the torn clothes so it may be very easy for you to understand present participles and past participle right one is ending with ing and one end with ed e n uh, many are there we'll discuss it uh, uh, in the next class okay tomorrow we'll discuss that about present participle and past participle and one more that is order of adjective that is the most important thing you are going to learn it okay order of object adjectives okay so for today what we have seen we have seen uh, nouns and ad adjective we have also uh, taken a quick recap of uh, types of adjective qualitative quantitative possessive interrogative dem uh, demonstrative we have seen adjectives what is adjective we have seen noun as adject adjectives we have seen some more examples of noun which act as uh, adjectives okay we have also seen verbs and adjective now tomorrow we'll see again uh, uh, we'll take a quick recap of what we have seen uh, today and tomorrow uh, we are going to learn about uh, present participles which act as an adjective and past participle which act as an adjective and one more thing order of adjectives okay so thank you everyone have a nice day to all